Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. The size up. Hugo Centeno Jr. versus Jamal Charlo. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chats channel donations the Venmo de donations and the patreon family we working now showtime announced their monster lineup for the first half of 2018 one of those fights i made a video about this jamal charlo versus hugo centeno jr these are the highest ranking people non-champions within the wbc and they're fighting for a wbc interim belt on the Deontay Wilder Luis Ortiz card March 3rd Barclay Center now they had the the unveiling of these fights they did some quick face-offs I want to give my thoughts and the size up now one thing that may surprise some people is Hugo Centeno Jr he looked actually a little bit bigger than Jamal Charlo and Jamal Charlo is known for being pretty big for the division I was at Charlo's last fight with Jorge Sebastian Highland, and Highland looked tiny next to him, but that wasn't the case with Hugo Centeno Jr. Both of them, I think, have power you have to respect. I've seen a lot of triangle theories, but if you're a fan of boxing, you should know by now. That doesn't always equate. Some people are saying, oh, Jamal Charlo stopped Julian J. Rock Williams, and J. Rock was beating Hugo Centeno Jr., even though it ended in no contest. I do think J. Rock was beating Hugo Centeno Jr., but I mean, None of that has nothing to do with the two fighting each other here and now, March 3rd, right? Because if that was the case, Juan Manuel Marquez is giving Pacquiao fits and knocked him out brutally in the fourth fight. And every single time he fought Pacquiao, he gave him issue versus Bradley, in my opinion, lost all the fights with Pacquiao. But then when Bradley fought Marquez, he beat him relatively easy. You know what I mean? So again, Styles make fights. Um, this is not a fight prediction. I'm not in this video predicting who I think will win. I think Charlo should be the favorite here, but it it could be a good fight because he's still new in the division. And like I said, it's not just about size. See, size is tricky. Some people say size doesn't matter. Size does matter. Size does matter, but you have to look at the you have to look within reason. Like, let's say Terrence Crawford, someone who's highly skilled, moves up to welterweight and fights one of the low, you know what I mean? Like, let's say Josecito Lopez, and let's say Josecito Lopez is bigger than him. Then in that case, because Crawford is, is his skills are so so high and, and much higher than Josecito Lopez, and this is not shade, I'm just, this is a random name I thought of. Then, you know what I mean? Size wouldn't really matter as much in that particular situation. But if you have two guys who are about even on the plane of skill, then size could matter, like Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence Jr. In that instance, because Errol Spence Jr. does a lot of things technically well, plus he would have a size advantage and he's strong, maybe in that situation it would matter. So size does matter, but it's within reason. Skills also pay the bills. We've seen guys like Pacquiao's and the Floyd Mayweather's beat guys who are bigger, but just from the eye test, Hugo Centeno Jr. looked a little bit bigger than Jamal Charlo. Charlo's a killer though, Lions only. I'm looking forward to this fight. This is a good co-main event. And the winner should get an opportunity at Canelo Triple G winner, if all goes well. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. The size up. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you smash the like button, as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.